Hey guys, what's up? KSK Ryle here and Google dropped out the first developer preview of Android P a few days ago. So this build is currently available for Pixel owners only. So which means if you're having any Pixel device, then you can flash it and get the first taste of Android P. Sadly, Google dropped out the support of Android P for Nexus devices. Android P brings some of the few changes to the operating system and anyway, we will not going to talk about the uh, features. So right now, if you don't have any Pixel device then you can't taste the uh, first preview of Android P but using the Android Studio a 3.2 beta an integrated development environment for building Android apps using your PC helps to taste the first preview of Android P without the need of any pixel device all you need is a Windows PC running a Windows 7 or higher now follow me along the video Subscribe to Case Girl and click on bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, first thing is to check the link in the description box and click on it. This will take you to this page. Download the Android Studio 3.2 beta on your PC. Then place it somewhere on your Windows PC. Now go ahead and extract it using the WinDRAW. Inside the extracted folder, you will find a folder named bin. Open it. Now here you will see all the executable files. If you are running a Windows 32 bit, then you need to launch this application. But I will go with this one since my PC has installed with a Windows 64 bit version. Double click on it and it will launch the Android Studio for the first time. Initially it may start downloading some of the SDK files. Let it complete. Then you will see a setup like this. Click on next. Here choose a standard, then next. Here choose any theme from here, then click on next. And now click on finish. Now here you need to uh, set up an empty project by clicking on start new Android Studio project. Then everything as it is, click on next and next. Here you need to choose an empty activity template, then next, then click on finish to set up an empty project. Now you will see Android Studio will I take you into the workspaces. Here from the menu bar, I choose the option called help, then click on find action. Here type AVD, then in the results you will see a AVD manager. Click on it to launch the Android Virtual Device Manager. Now click on create a new virtual device, then click on next. Now select any pixel device from here. I will select the standard pixel, then click on next. Now here you will see Android P is available to try out. If you see a download button next to P, download it, I already downloaded it. That's why it's not showing a download button here. Once it's done, then click on next. Here under the startup orientation, make sure you set it as a portrait mode and the graphics mode will be set to as automatic. Now click on show advanced settings here. Now increase the space of internal storage of your virtual device. I recommend 8 GB or higher for this. Then click on finish to instantiate the virtual device. Now you will see a new virtual device has been created. Now under the Actions tab, I click on this little play button to simulate Android P user experience virtually on Pixel device. And that's pretty much it. And this is how you can taste the first bytes of Android P on your Windows PC using the Android Studio without the need of any Pixel device. I hope you like this video and this is KSK Ryle signing off. Bye bye now.